watch you do kind of the the basics of of where a beginner kind of should start in right. terms of you know this is the base. Um, what would you say were kind of more advanced you know um, percussion parts on, stuff. on it? Um, well, let's see. More advanced parts. Well, your your bass drums, your classic sort of classic sort of bass thump would be down here and up here, and um, if you have any sort of experience with a drum kit. It's uh, it's easy to identify which parts work where, right? For example, a classic standard drum groove would perhaps be the bass on beat one, a snare drum, on beats beat two, one, two, repeat, three, four, right? Um, but I think over time and through refining refining your own technique and finding out your own little subtle nuances and micro techniques you can you can combine them in, in, in different ways and perhaps more detailed ways so let's say you start with something like a bass note just just one note we'll keep it very simple one note in this kind of funky rhythm sort of uh something like this uh and add the bass drums in uh, so this would be me picking with my index finger and the bass drums would be with the, the heel of the hand so we can have a sort of something like that well, I add in some snare drums the snare drums that I'll use here will be here okay so this is just slapping the end of the fingerboard the thumb hitting the wood as well okay because without the thumb it sounds okay but with the thumb you really get the bite, okay? Uh, let's put that in. Okay, so that's on still on beats two and four. It's just we've got a little bit more going on, right? One, two. Okay, um, and you can take it even further. You could uh, integrate some shuffly hi hat. Uh, Get some little, by tapping the harmonics, get some almost ride bell kind of, or even melodic phrases uh, on the offbeats. <laughs> okay, so when you sort of break it down to its fundamental parts, you can you can understand what's going on. It's just through time you uh, sort of develop your own way of splicing it all together. So just to break down what I did there in even more detail for you, if you'd like, um, the hi-hat thing. I have a song called Boogie Slam, uh, which is the first track of my album. And it's in a different tuning, so I can't really play it, but um, it starts with this kind of, this kind of rhythm. And I, I found that really, uh, sort of came, came up with that idea um, and found it really interesting how you could get different sort of attacks on the strings while sort of keeping everything in the wrist. You can get a slap kind of thing or a nice warm brush of a finger or a sort of scratchy sound. And you can get some kind of shuffly thing uh, going on. So that's, and then, and then just exposing a note when I want a bass note and then muting the note. You can even get a sound by doing this, right? Or two sounds, or three sounds, and combine it. So, should I keep going? Yeah, you can okay. go. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I suppose that's quite a complex percussion pattern, but we haven't really touched on anything musical note wise we just got this bass line so we can add some top end uh, this will do okay this is a little jam I did in at the Acropolis actually and we worked out a little a little jam so I'm just trying to retrace my mental steps uh, some top end played by yeah these two notes so if we get these two notes ringing it's an A and a D. I'm actually tuned a semitone down, but I'm essentially in dad-gad tuning. 
I can't pick this at the same time as getting a bass drum and a decent attack that will set me in motion to do my little wrist movement, right? So how can we pick these notes whilst doing these, but making it aggressive and at this angle? This is so much detail. Um, uh, I'm a big nerd, so I do this regularly. We could achieve this note by pulling off, right? We could start the phrase with our finger actually on the fret and pull off, right? Problem solved. Hammering on there. You can make your own little musical phrase out of it. Stuff. Um, would you say that the key to learning these kind of fingerstyle techniques is is uh, to break it down into mm. the different sections into this uh, you know this is kind of the bass sound of of the piece this is the high end you know yeah I mean everything is is experimental and everyone has their own path they like to take currently I really enjoy building layers and working on things like that um, you know building up uh, from from the ground and. Uh, making it so the listener can take away easily identifiable layers. You know, uh, so this really simple little double stop thing. That would almost be another instrument in the band, right? And the bass line would move around a bit. Yeah. Little DJ scratch. Thing, you know uh, yeah so I try and think of the different parts as, as different instruments and different players um, a good example of this is actually the song somebody that I used to know by Gotye. Um I did a cover of it but that song um, illustrates the way that I like to work in a, in a very clear way uh, because it's sort of directly related to the way Gotye or Wally works um, in building layers, you know, he, he'd work by taking a sample of something and adding a bass part and adding a melody and adding you know, things like this. So the parts are very well defined as, as the song goes on, you know, like a bass line, chords, percussion, everything's consistent, the melody. Out of tune melody, but there we go. 